Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to continue looking at some of the arcade one-up arcade cabinets, um, the mini cabinets that I've collected over the years. I realized that I had never done any coverage on them um, and I've just ignored them for some reason, but I've had them for a while. So what we're going to do is just do an overview of the cabinets, um, parts, what they come with, value should you get it how much if you do decide to get it how much you should pay for it um those who are new to the channel generally we cover real arcade hardware real arcade cabinets and such we're always tweaking and doing modifications on real arcade hardware and such here so um hopefully after you take a look at some of the arcade one of steps you like and subscribe and stay for some of the other hardware we got going on here so today what we're going to look at this is the Marvel vs. Capcom cabinet. I believe I got this one from Best Buy. It was one of the Best Buy's exclusives, I believe, or something like that. So this one, this particular one, came with... Let's get a light on here. It came with five games. So Marvel Superheroes, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, War of Gems, Marvel vs. Street Fighter, and Marvel vs. Capcom. So it was... um. Not a bad collection for a cap. So this one right here, um, let's just take around. We'll just go around. You had a full side art on this one right here. I can't remember. I think these this was like Generation Three cabinets from Arcade One Up. I don't think it was two. I think this might have been three. You got your standard um, disclaimers and stuff right here. Power. Um. You got your art over here on this side. So well done as far as presentation. No no problems there at all. Um, as far as upgrades from like the Generation 1, if you notice here, there is not um, your single audio here anymore. So now you have audio here and here which is nice. You now have a marquee that lights up, which is nice. Screen is still the same 17-inch um, screen, unfortunately, but it is a little slightly more improved as far as um, visualization and everything else. Um, Button-wise, this one has... Um, I can't remember if I got Sanwa controls on this one but they got convex buttons here they're not bad not bad at all if you're going to use this cabinet if you're going to really put some time into this cabinet you probably would upgrade the buttons and probably the controls as well um also different here you still got an on and off but you have a powered edit and when you hold it can decrease and increase the volume unlike the generation one which was like off medium and loud so that's up right there. As far as size comparison, so um, in the background right here, you will see I have a, um, a Thomas Wave cabinet. So this one sits a little bit lower than the standard Thomas Wave um, cabinet or the standard candy cabinet right there. But I'm sitting on a um, ottoman that I have that I got for my Namco from Naya, um the Namco cap, and it fits perfectly sitting on here. So what does that mean? If you had some um, other candy cabinets and you already had stools and such, you'll be good to go. You could use your existing stools. So that's that. Obviously, for all of these Arcade 1UP cabinets, you need to uh, assemble them yourself. So keep that in mind. Um, make sure you have some space. It takes around 20, 25 minutes to install it, so not a hard process at all. Last upgrade, um, at least from this side here, from the Generation Run, these ones actually come with a plexi um, overlay that sits on top of the base um, control panel. So that was not present in Generation 1 of the Arcade 1-Ups. So um, that's a good upgrade that they did. So let's turn it on right quick. There's your marquee coming up. Also on this cabinet, um, 
it had uh, Wi-Fi enabled. So this one has um, the ability to play online if you chose to do that. So there you should go. Your first game was Marvel vs. Capcom. Second one, X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Marvel Superheroes vs. Street Fighter. Marvel Superheroes. War of the Gems. And yeah, there you go. So it was five games in this one. So definitely not a bad collection of games um, and such. So just as before, you select your game, local or online. And it's telling you your standard button layout and you press your player one button to continue. Once again, um, for these arcade one up cabinets, they are not running on the um, on a true arcade PCB, they have some custom PCB that's running off of perform emulation. So just keep that in mind, they are not the true arcade PCBs inside of these. So we can adjust the volume. So, if I were a person who was going to really spend time on RK1 cabinet, I would update the joystick on here. It's not bad, but it's just not. Um, I'm, st I'm used to playing with, you know, sandbox controls and such, so it just feels different for me and everything else. But it's definitely usable. Um, if you're not used to playing with anything else, it's definitely usable. And everything else. As far as um, comparing it to Generation 1, like the Street Fighter um, 2 cabinet, um, this one is still better than that by default. Fireball with one hand, how do you like that? All right, so um, pretty good. And then I believe if it's the standard controls, I see. You might have changed it. Oh well. All right, so there you go. This is. Um, just been a high level overview of the Marvel versus Capcom um, arcade one up cabinet. As always, if you have any questions about it, please um, like and and just uh, come to the comment section. Ask me any questions you may have about the cabinet or anything about arcade stuff in general. I'll be happy to answer your questions. Um, so this was just a high level overview of it, of this cabinet right here. Got this a few years ago. Really haven't done a lot with it. As you all know, I generally spend 90% of my time on the real arcade hardware. But if you have a kid or something like that, you know, you want them, they want to play on an arcade cabinet, but you don't want them, you know, beating up on your candy cabs or your other cabinets. This is a good alternative for them. It works out well. Um, final rating, if you were looking for a cabinet to buy it, I would recommend getting this one, but I would say for this cabinet, um, I don't think I would go over, I don't think I would pay more than 250 for this cabinet as it, as it is. Now, if you get one and it's already upgraded with buttons and joystick already, okay, maybe, maybe in 250, 300. Um, but just because I know a lot of people are going to want to upgrade the buttons and some people are going to want to update the sound. The sound's not that bad, but some people may want to update the sound. And the screen is decent, not great. It's okay, but I could see some people may even want to upgrade that screen. So knowing what upgrades that you're probably want, going to want to do with this cabinet, 
I would say two, 200, 250 max. I wouldn't pay any more for that if you were looking to get it. If you can get it used, um, even better. So that's my verdict on this one. Um, if you're looking to get it 250, you really cap out on this one and you'll be good to go. If you got any questions, once again, um, come to the channel, let me know. Please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you all later. Peace.